Sport Locker Program on Rules Culture Radio. It's just Sport Locker Program on Rules Culture Radio. Oh, oh, oh. Ken Gaddafi. Sport Locker Program. Ken Gaddafi is here for you. Sport Locker Program. Oracle Sport. Ken Gaddafi. If you want him, just Sport Program. Rules Culture Radio. It's time for the Sport Locker. Presented by Ken Gaddafi with guests on Root Culture Radio. Add their predictions, check out their analysis, and get your updates. Hello, you welcome to the Upside with Ken Gaddafi and um, the Usain Cup quarterfinal second leg is stay is on stage and Vireng is looking to consolidate their first win. Uh, so going into the make or my second leg. A goal down will set up holders. Prince can re, I mean, Prince can reach Varian, uh, face a day of reckoning on their own pitch when they've clashed with rivals Ministry of National Defense under light on Wednesday. Still looking for their maiden cup triumph, Bonquet faced the uphill task of overturning a two goal deficit against a side that is combining well in all cases. Okay, joining me now to take a look at this match, at this quarterfinals fixture job is the S reporter, S journalist, uh, Manju Nath. Uh, Manju, you're welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you, Ken. Good yes. to be with you. Okay, uh, Manju, it's a cup, cup tie. Anything can happen. Uh, do you expect any upsets? Of course, National Police and Phnom Penh Crown look good to progress yeah, to the yeah. semifinals. Actually, you can forget the uh, two quarterfinal matches. Uh, involving police and uh, crown because they are three goals ahead and they have a fantastic cushion uh, to take things easy. But uh, the match of the day could well be the one between Priya Khan Reach Swearing and uh, the army because as you know uh, their match involving uh, a home game yes. in swearing hmm. uh, during the league season hmm. produced very violent uh, scenes yeah. on the pitch. Yeah. There were many fines, hmm. suspensions of hmm. officials, players, yes. yeah. and whenever these two sides meet, hmm. they play like it is a grudge match. Hmm. So, with one goal up, Army will yeah. be very keen mm. to keep that advantage. Yes. While uh, the home pitch is an advantage for Prayer Khan Ridge, yeah. so they will have to bring out their best, the very best, to beat Army. And I am not surprised if it goes to extra yeah. time or even penalties in the end. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, uh, well, you are not surprised, but then let me take you to the big one, which is, um, uh, like you mentioned, Army has a good advantage, they have a chance, uh, but Bonket and Nada, that game can still go either way, despite the first uh, 2-0 advantage two, that two Nada won't has. 2-0 advantage is, is, is quite a formidable one, yeah. uh, but if you look at the psychological state of the teams, hmm. Uh, Ponket, I think, is a little behind yeah. because they lost to the army, mm. uh, which brought their 15 week long unbeaten mm. run to an end. That was a big blow. Yeah. And then they, they are two goals behind, and Naga is playing at its best. Yes. You, look, you look at the score sheet, you look at the score sheet, all the foreign signings. Mm have been firing. Yeah. Matthew Oza has been very, very consistent. Mm. Bison George has, has scored quite a few doubles uh, during the league season. So, unfortunately, those foreign players cannot play in Hunsen Cup. Mm. So, yes. So, that is an advantage for uh, both sides. I, 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 let me hold you from there, Manju. That's what I was actually going to. Yeah. Bonkett are still elusive with cops. Yeah. But they have won the league back to back now. Yeah. And they are looking set to make it three on a row. Yeah. So is this a comparative advantage no, because no, no. they have the foreign players with 
other teams have more local players because it is absolutely not Ken. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you why. Because if you look back at Bonkate's record this season and the past season, only the foreign signings have been among uh, the goal scoring uh, efforts. Yeah. Uh, like that Brazilian Kaliuri, mm. Mekan Kaliuri. Yes. Julia Zoiba, mm. Omakba, yeah. and Benga. Mm. These are the guys who are creating opportunities for scoring. Yeah. So, most of the Bonkate uh, you know, pr product, yeah. final product, is the efforts of these players. Mm -hmm. uh, the same mm -hmm. with Naga too. Yes. But when you take these foreign element off, mm -hmm. you have to see how well only the Khmer players yeah. will combine and will form formations that are effective. E effective, yeah. Effective. Yes. So that is an open question mm. because even the coach may not be able to figure it out yeah. because he has never done it. Hmm. During the league season, he has always, always relied, on relied on the foreign, foreign players, players you are right. to set you are the right. pace. Yeah. So yeah. That, that, that is where this match is very interesting mm. uh, and I feel that among uh, the Khmer players, yeah. Naga has a better quality uh, local players mm. uh, than Monke. Uh, that is my personal assessment. Yeah. I may be wrong, really? well, but, uh, right. uh, but with players like Sukumpiak, for yeah. example, Kut mm. Sukumpiak, for yes. example, uh, Sovan. So, Sovan. so, the, so the, there, are, there are players who are very were very well uh, uh, experienced and were played at the national level. So Naga's Khmer only team, team. looks Small. on paper at because, least yeah. slightly better than Naga's, yeah. uh, slightly better than Bonkate's Khmer only team. Mm. Good. So that that's where this match will be uh, decided. Okay, good. Before we round up the show, uh, I mean for, for the listeners, uh, it's time for the prediction. You know, on paper. It looks straightforward, but anything could still happen. Yeah. It's a cop tie, you yeah. never can tell. Yeah. So, who are the, your favorites to go through among the four uh, semi finals? I, I, I think Naga will go through. Okay. Uh, police and Crown, Crown have already one leg in, one the, leg in semi the semi finals. And, and Army. Uh, Army and Swain is a toss up. Yeah. Uh, it is a. At, even though the army is leading by a goal, yeah. I still make it a 50-50 game. game. Wow. Because Swearing is playing at home. Mm. Uh, I don't know, unless uh, they, they, the football takes a nasty, a different turn, mm. uh, then you don't know what yeah. the outcome could be. Yes. But if all goes well, army should see it through with their one goal advantage. But it's it's by far by no means yeah. it is over good well it's by no means over you've added from the ace reporter ace journalist for no pen post mr manju manju thank you for being part of the show uh, don't forget to follow us on the upside with ken Gaddafi. we'll be coming up later this weekend as we preview the uh, english premier league that is kicking off this weekend and follow us every day on our spot beats on the oracle of cambodia uh, thank you for being part of the show don't forget to like and comment or share this video as we bring you daily updates on the world of sports bye for now from this table of the oracle you are listening to root culture radio for your latest information on political news entertainment and sport updates listen to root culture radio root culture radio